What's up guys, it's Drew, and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while since I've posted here on YouTube, but we got a uh, new project I just bought, uh, which is a truck. I plan on uh, doing a lot of modifications and upgrades to it. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a series as far as a, uh, like a summer, uh, summer uphaul series uh, i'm going to try to work on the truck all summer and do some little things and i got some uh different uh things i got in the mail today for it um so i'll be letting you all see what i got um unboxing and then uh installation video later so stay tuned Here's the truck that I bought. It is a uh, 2006. It's um, pretty clean. It's only got 78,000 miles on it. Um, I did drive it to work one day and just parked it in the parking lot. And this is how dirty it gets just sitting there for one day. So I got to take it out and try to clean it today. I did buy some uh, WeatherTech uh, items that I'm going to install um, on the truck today. I got some tail lights coming. It's supposed to come today. I figured I would do a uh, introduction of the truck and uh, show you what I got there. Here's all the stuff I got. Uh, one of those boxes is actually from my car. I bought some mats for it. But we got uh, some uh, heavy duty uh, WeatherTech mats, some uh, window vents, and a uh, bug shield. And I will unbox those. I'll probably just open the boxes off camera because it would be too hard to open them and try to film. And I'll lay everything out and uh, in the next clip you'll see it. I do got some tail lights coming. These tail lights are pretty crappy. Um, one side's cracked, but this has got some cracks in it and they're dirty. So uh, I got some new tail lights coming. But all in all, it's pretty rust free. It's got a few little uh, surface rust spots and paint peeling on the cab corners. Um, it did have these holes in each side of the bed which I don't know what caused that, but I bought some um, some type of expanding foam that's supposed to be adhesive and waterproof. I shot down in there, and so far it's it's pretty good. It's solid. It's going to keep water from keep getting in there uh, and keep rusting it out. Um, I'm going to get some sandpaper and kind of sand it down, try to get this rust off. But what I plan on do, doing is line X in my bed and I'm gonna get the, the rails done. So I'm hoping they can line X over that and you won't even see that. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's a pretty clean truck. Uh, it's got the uh, 5.3 liter in it. Um, and uh, we're planning, I've got some big plans for this this summer. I'm going to be uh, lifting it, uh, getting some 20 inch wheels and tires on it. Uh, it's not four wheel drive, um, it's two wheel, but uh, I got some engine mods coming, so uh, it's going to be a fun summer. I'm going to document the whole build. I hope that you guys will come along with me and uh, see the progress over the summer. Uh, this is going to be uh, real fun, so uh, stay tuned for the next clip. Uh, I will unbox these and lay them out. That way uh, you can see everything. I just got everything unboxed. Uh, glad I did that off camera because that was a pain in the butt. Um, here's the ones for my truck. These are the heavy duty ones. Um, which they are from WeatherTech. Which uh, makes everything in the USA uh, 100%. Uh, USA company, which uh, I highly recommend to support. Uh, here's the bud bug collectors, or not the bug collectors, the uh, uh, window vents. I'm not going to open all the package up. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. Um, 
but I do have the prices here that I paid everything. I mean, right there you can see the uh, vents were $116.55. <coughs> These are the ones for my uh, car. I have a, um, a turbocharged um, Sonic LTZ, which is right here. Um, I will be doing some future builds on this. I plan on lowering it, uh, getting some new rims and tires, um, putting some uh, performance parts on it. That'll be in later videos. Um, here's the uh, total of both for the truck and the car was 325.32. That's how much they was. Uh, separate 124.95 114.95 i know that's probably a little pricey but it's worth it paying to have stuff made in america rather than buying some chinese cheap crap uh here's the bug vent or the bug rock they call it a rock stone protector and that was uh 74.15 so I'm going to uh, get these installed. I don't know if you guys want to see an installation video or what, but this video is going to be pretty long if I do an installation video. But um, I might. I have to buy a few things. It is currently like 29 degrees here in Kentucky. Um, so uh, I'll have to get me a heat gun if I want to install them now because it recommends to install 65 or above weather. So, uh, yeah, let's get it installed. Installing this bug shield is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, all you do is just take these little grommets right here, and we want to stick them up in these holes. And they just snap in there pretty easy. Just like that. Here's something I noticed. They give you four of these little grommets, but you got five holes. So they only use the um, two on the outside. They don't use that middle one. You get uh, four of these screws and four of these grommets after you get the um, other holes in there inside the hood. You um, put this little grommet over the screw. It helps protect the uh, plastic from getting um, tore up as you're screwing this in. But you want to make sure you don't screw it in like super tight because you will break the uh, plastic on here. So I just get it to where it's just snug. And you can see that that's that's on there. It's not it's not going anywhere. These look pretty straightforward too. I even include some wipes to wipe the surface down. Looks like you're just going to wipe the surface down, uh, peel the backing tape, and then you're going to uh, take and uh, snug it up under there. I don't know if you can see that with the sun. And uh, that's it. And I think for the windshield, you're going to tuck it up under the seal here. So uh, let's get at it and see what it looks like. Since it's cold out here today, because they recommend to do this uh, 65 degrees or higher, I'm just going to take my um, heat gun just uh, heat up the surface where it's going to stick that way um, it'll have good adhesion you just want to get this like warm to the touch and then you want to uh, heat up the um, double-sided tape until it gets a little sticky and then you can put it on there all right we got that one on now we'll move to the uh, passenger window. I got the sun over here shining in my eyes, so it's hard to see, but I think it's off straight. 
So we're gonna do the same thing to this. I'm just gonna get my heat gun and just heat up inside here. Um, again, you don't want it too hot. You don't want to melt your rubber or anything. Or, uh, you just want it warm to the touch so it adheres. So uh, let's get this one in. All right, I don't. I just have it set in there. I just wanted to see how it went in. Um, you do want to crack your window a little bit so you can get access to this. But all you want to do is just uh, is um, stuff it. Uh, it's hard to do this and try to do the camera here, but you just want to stuff it up under the uh, seal here and um, And it'll uh, just uh, stick on there Okay, it helps to read the instructions before you uh, attempt this on uh, at least I'm on the truck the Silverado's mine's a uh, be a year range 99 to 06 this don't have no sticky tape on it. Um, if I'd have known that, I probably would have bought something to put on here. But all it does is just stuff up inside the rail and it uh, gets held on from down here. You wanna make sure it goes, touches down to the bottom of the window seal. And then you gotta kind of crunch it in and push it up under here. And the pressure holds it in there. So um, once that's in, you wanna roll your window uh, back up to make sure nothing hits and as long as the window goes fully up you're fully in but uh, the only bad part I see is I don't know if these would fall out or what I'd probably end up getting me some uh, uh, two-sided tape and take them back off and uh, put some two-sided tape up there just for a little extra security because um, any old body, if they know that, can just come along your truck and just pull these off, and then they're gone. So I'm gonna do the uh, driver's side, which the driver's side is gonna be exactly like this side, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for the video. I'm sure you guys know how to install the floor liners. You just put them down like floor mats. So uh, this is all for the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I did get some new tail lights. Uh, I'm going to be installing them today, but I'll put them in a separate video. So uh, thanks guys for watching. And here's what it looks like so far. And I did get the truck washed, so it's looking better. That bug shield's looking pretty good. And to the next video, guys. Talk to you later.